Hey God peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Uh, yeah, so I hope you're liking the content lately. Um, on this one, we're gonna be doing uh, the PC. I wanna get it all painted, a couple other little things I need to do as well, I'll come show you. All right, so first things first is we need to get the um, dash fittings welded on. All right, so dash fittings welded on the rocker cover. All right, so um, just like um, my other builds, I always like the dash fittings, as I said, I do want um, these to be actually usable pieces as well uh, for later on if I need them for emergency uses and stuff like that so um, I don't want them just to be broken and uh, just sitting there so yeah we can uh, build on to cut the fittings on here on exactly the same location as over here I'll just show you the roll racer just like that boys all right so one two and um, and then we can actually uh, use them uh, if anything happens so uh, and the only other thing as well what I was thinking of um, on this one I was if I can just it. is I was gonna use some flake on this one as well just so then it would um, yeah shine a bit brighter and uh, look a bit more uh, more obviously um, a little bit better there as well so uh, obviously uh, jet black on the whole thing uh, and then obviously uh, we'll probably do something like uh, yeah this on top as well so I've got um, a couple of little ideas there that we can do as well um, we'll have a look and then we'll go from there all right so first things first we'll get these fittings done uh, we'll get up to painting and uh, yeah we'll shoot it tonight we'll hopefully get everything done tonight and uh, yeah we'll get, a, get it done from there so uh, yeah let's get straight into it because uh, I haven't got much time let's do it <laughs>
All right, sorry peeps. Uh, the camera went flat on uh, doing the clear, so I couldn't um, quickly put it on charge. I just had to get it done. Uh, so yeah, take a look. Absolutely looks amazing. Um, we'll get some light on it here, guys. All right, so it is a, a non-using block at the moment, so don't worry about where I've got it, because I'll get it blasted if I ever want to use it later on. I probably won't, because this thing just looks absolutely amazing. So it's actually black, it's a black base coat, well jet black base coat, and um, with a pearl on top, and the pearl is just, um, I don't know, sort of gave it that uh, gunmetal grey look, uh, not as, not as, uh, like not as silvery, but yeah, it looks, um, it's come up really well, so. Everywhere's good. Um, I've got the feet really good as well. I just made sure I was getting every, all the parts that I was gonna, I was gonna see. Just made sure I got all the nook and crannies. All right, so. Just, yeah, everywhere you go. So yeah, come up really well. I'm uh, real happy with it. I'm just um, now just quickly knocking up a couple of feet, um, just for some spaces. And uh, one, two, three, four. Then we can um, just pop the head on, and uh, yeah, use them as spaces. Uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. Uh, let's get that done, um, and then uh, up to mounting the motherboard onto the head. All I was going to do is just make a plate up, and uh, and have it bolted there. Then um, actually have uh, the motherboard seated on top so let's get that done um actually might um might even get the turbo manifold started today as well and um yeah just a couple of little parts as well i'm um, obviously still waiting on the throttle body um the post is just yeah so slow at the moment because obviously this the the virus thing um but uh no biggie um and also i've got a couple other things as well um i'll show you in uh the next video but um everything's going well let's get this uh, PC happening let's do it All right guys, so far so good. Um, yeah, motherboard. I just gotta get some more of those little spaces. I only had a couple, uh, but uh, we've made it fit with the plate. So it's a full plate mounted to the head and then um, with the spaces there. I've got a, uh, a square cut out in the plate there for when I um, put the water-cooled CPU on um, so then I can get to the bolt holes underneath. So that's fine. And I've just got the intake planum on at the moment just to make sure that it's going to fit and as you can see that's the reason why I can't have um, the injectors on there because uh, it actually hits the board so that's fine though I'm, I'm cool just running it like that and uh, that will always be uh, I'll be out to use that for later on build but um, yeah I just uh, just figuring over the way to mount the 
the top of the rocker cover now. A um, couple of different ways I could have done, uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to work some stuff out. So I've got the rocker cover here, um, and I thought I would uh, put the coils in. So what I've actually done to fit them in and uh, not uh, do anything, I've got some old coils. So I've just cut the end off. There you go, that's the end. All right, so the end of the coil, cut that off. All right, and what I've actually done is actually tapped two of them. So I've tapped that one there and tapped this one here to an M10. And then I'll just show you in a second what I'm gonna do with that. Um, once that's actually on, and then, as you can see from underneath, um, that one there is now tapped and that one there is tapped. I'm gonna run some plate along here and then um, have it welded to another piece of plate or actually just bend it here um, and then have it coming down and then that there is going to be our uh, bit that's actually going to hold uh, this top piece up so um, I think that was the only way to do it um, yeah put it like that so uh, yeah I'm just getting this on now and I'm just going to bend up a piece of metal a uh, bit of plate and uh, yeah we'll get it going all right guys kind of up with something here I'm um, sorry, but just didn't film at all. Uh, it's just I was just back and forth making stuff. Uh, so that's what we've come up with. We're gonna, um, yeah, make it. Instead, I was gonna have some rod, but it wasn't gonna be strong enough to hold. So some five mil uh, flat bar, five by fifty, I think it is. Uh, those two holes drilled. They're the ones that go into the actual coil. The ones that we tapped out earlier. And um, so that the, the rock cover sits on top, it's on a small angle, so we can get enough um, uh, room for the graphics card at the front. Uh, I don't want it all the way uh, up like that, it's just going to be a bit too too much. So yeah, we'll small angle up, and I think that should uh, look pretty good. So uh, yeah, let's get this welded now, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, peeps, uh, just being busy. The camera went flat again, um, and I couldn't, um, yeah, put it on charge for a quick enough, so I quickly um, just done a couple other things as well. Just started on this turbo manifold. Um, got pretty far, cleaned it up. Uh, this is not the turbo that we're gonna run. Um, this is a turbo for the, the half a booster, and uh, I just, uh, just for a knock up, it's gonna be exactly the same one that we're gonna use, but obviously um, I need to take off the back because we need to hook it up to a uh, motor of some sort. Just so then we can um, spin it around. So um, there we go, guys. Um, obviously, it's lower mounted. Only reason why it's because um, I did have it higher, um, and I need to get to all these things. So uh, there are my like um, the, on the motherboard. So um, I need to have plugs running off of there, and um, I thought it'd be better just having it down forever. But um, all in all, everything else is all pretty good. So that's just ex extended um, exhaust headers. Um, and also all I've done was I'll just show you actually All right guys, so yeah, um, that's all it is. It's just plated. Um, it's not actually Welded all the way around. I've only just got it um, tigged on just a couple of spots there and um, And whatnot so just to make it look Like it's actually bolted to it. So that's the standard um, exhaust headers there and um, I've just yeah, I've uh, also um, quickly tacked on the bolts as well so it's a lot easier to mount um, but I'm absolutely loving it I've um, got the spaces in here uh, and obviously we're gonna have some LEDs um, actually uh, going into um, the cylinders as well so you're gonna see them um, on each each cylinder and also this is the bracket that I've made to uh, the rest of the bracket here that I've made to the uh, rocket cover um, so uh, I needed somewhere else um, pretty strong. I was going to mount it off the head. I was uh, really wanted to mount it off the head, but it just wasn't going to be strong enough. Uh, so this, some pretty um, decent uh, M12s into uh, where the bell housing 
goes uh, on the gearbox and uh, some 5mm plate going up and as you can see inside there guys this is gonna inside's gonna be painted anyway guys don't worry about it I've only got the outside painted for the night inside's gonna be a lot more um a lot more glittery effect as well just so that it um shines because there's gonna be a um a strip all the way around just to get um yeah the light actually on the motherboard um but yeah pretty happy um bolts a little bit long so I'll just put a little nut there uh and yeah that's come up real nice and yeah we're super happy with everything uh motherboards all on as i said i only have um three of the little holders so i'm um, sagging in the little bit in the middle but i'll get to more of those later on um yeah everything else i'm real happy with it um obviously it's not you know not a working computer as such yet uh still will need i'm thinking uh the pump's gonna go in here so I was going to use a, um, go with a car route. I was going to go with a car route, like car radiator and all that, but, um, yeah, it's been, uh, just from my, uh, the guy that I go see, he said it's sort of, uh, with flow wise and also with the pump, um, not sure if it's actually going to work hundred percent. So just to better be safe than sorry, I'll just, uh, uh, use their, uh, PC stuff is, um, obviously a lot smaller than car stuff, but. It's just a lot more expensive. Uh, like instead of the radiators and the pumps and all that stuff. Obviously, the only good thing about it though, it's going to be a lot quiet. So, if I'd use a car pump, like a uh, electric water pump from a car, you know, something like that, it, it's a lot more. I've done that in the pre previous. Yeah, they're a lot more to, uh, more noisy. So, uh, a PC is actually designed to uh, keep the noise down. So that's a good thing. Uh, but I'm actually really impressed with everything else and um yeah so we're just gonna go for uh maybe one or if not two uh maybe some 480 mil radiators some decent radiators um probably gonna go two because we're gonna actually might go one on the cpu and actually one on the um graphics card i'm not sure exactly how to mount that on the front yet um give me some ideas though guys so um, I was actually thinking with only just one, I was actually just going to have it just uh, looking like an oil cooler as such. Turbo. Um, but uh, now obviously with two, um, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and also they will need um, fans on both as well. But that's no biggie though. Uh, we can um, have something, you know, two radiators down like that or something. Um, we'll work something out. Um, actually can even actually mount it underneath as such as well. So I can actually have um, them t both actually mounted underneath and the, you know, because this has got a lot of airflow on the bottom. So there's a couple of ways I can mount stuff. I have got room here. So this is obviously going to be, was going to be for the pump. I was going to mount a uh, decent pump on there. Uh, and also not sure about drives. Um, somewhere else, I'm not sure. But um, we'll work something out. I've got plenty of plenty of space. I'm just going slowly and slowly. I'm just adding stuff. It's not actually a. Um, I didn't have. I don't actually have a full um, end result as such. I just knew I was going to have the turbocharger, the throttle, uh, the throttle body working. You know, I was actually said going to have a intercooler and stuff, but I don't think it's going to be. Um, yeah, not practical. But I might do it later. But. I think um, it's just going to be getting a bit too big. So I know it's pretty big now, but I'm actually going to put this on a um, an actual another table inside as well. So, but I'm pretty chuffed anyway. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, it's a K20, um, yeah, engine PC. So there are all the all the fittings there. Got two little runs there, unfortunately, but we can rub them out on the clear and uh everything else i'm actually stoked about so the color is actually amazing i actually love the color um and as i said we're going to um be putting um like a i know might go like a like a, a just a bright color in there either a red or something like that and just so then the the light will actually shine down we'll see what color will work better not sure so we had to paint the outside first before we paint that that's all i couldn't paint both at once but um, yeah, I'm real happy with how it's turned out. And yeah, as I said, 
the uh, lights in there is going to work good lights up there that's going to work good um we can even have a light in the throttle body as well so when you actually um do the throttle body we can um uh that can actually work as well i can get technical and i can actually have like a motor moving the throttle body up and down you know so it's sort of where do you stop you know so but you know we have to stop somewhere so we're just going to keep going until it starts looking a bit you know yeah don't go anymore but uh i think where it's turning out now i reckon it's um looking pretty sweet i reckon so um yeah that's the build so far boys um i'll uh, leave it off here uh as i said it's a um waiting for a couple more parts on it and um just there were a couple more ideas as well so i'm still waiting i'm still trying to get a um a blown blown either a blown turbo or something like that so so yeah this one's a t4 flange so if i can stick with the t4 flange if not i'll just buy another one from something like ebay or something like that so i think um yeah and then just uh stuff stuff one of those up i uh, just need to take off the back I need to gut the housing out to the rear so they're not going to attach something to it um and um yeah i'm just not sure how the bearings going to hold up by always spinning at all times so i'm not sure but we'll see we'll see uh so yeah thanks very much guys um yeah i'll leave it here um obviously i hope you like the content hope you're liking this build as well this one's going really well i'm real happy with this one um obviously we are starting the half a booster as well now um i finally got a um idea on that so that will be next video and um yeah we're going from there so uh yeah thanks very much um obviously make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you on next video see you peeps